All right, I'm not messing around today. I'm taking this very seriously. All right, get in the game. Lock it in. We're hopping in. Sorry for the delay, but we're hopping into another episode. My only objective today is building the mob grinder. I'm going to finish the entire thing this episode. I know I've said it and I've never done it, but that is what we're doing. I'm literally going to do that right now. What we're going to do is we're going to grab uh, probably our enchant table realistically. I can make another one. How many diamonds do I have? I do have obsidian, right? Ooh, not quite enough. Oh, I do. Let's go. Oh, we also have 10 obsidian for a portal. I mean, I'll make a diamond pick though, so that's not really an issue. Plus we could just make one out of uh, water and lava. We can totally just take this one because I'm not going to be enchanting on the go until I have two different level 30 locations to enchant from. So yeah, we'll take this as well. Uh, I'm going to want an anvil, so we'll take a stack of iron. Yeah, we don't really have any wood, so we're going to grab some wood. I think we'll need some fences. I don't remember how to make one. I'm just going to totally have to wing it or might look up a... Excuse you. Uh, I will need at least another bucket, I think. Yeah, I'll need at least two water buckets. Jesus. You're asking for it. You really are. Nah, he's too convenient. I have to let him be. Uh, let's go chop down some wood. I think I'll probably not make it look good at first so i'll just get it to be functional and then we'll come back and make it look good later because i just want to get going on this so yeah but it's definitely different from how i usually play i usually would have already been you know mining not recently not the last couple worlds i've done in the recent worlds i've played uh, a lot more fast and loose uh skipping over the boring beginning of minecraft because let's face it you know when you played this long you just kind of don't care about that anymore you just really like to get onto the fun stuff and the exploration stuff as fast as possible so but you know in the past i would have already had a whole bunch of cobble and resources uh, the traditional way but that's fine because we are here now and uh let's grab this we do need a boat i think our boats oh enderman no we didn't get it unfortunately oh. gonna keep killing those whenever i see them like i said uh It'll be nice to get pearls. I mean, we can go We can go to the nether and trade for pearls as well if we want to do it that way. I'm not really trying to, like, rush the dragon necessarily because there's not really a whole point. I'll definitely beat the dragon. That's one of my main goals is to finish, technically, finish Minecraft. But it's not something, like, pressing that I need to do right now. I guess it would be more appropriate in a speedrun to do that. Oh, I don't have a boat? Oh, I do have a boat. All right, so this is going to be kind of a challenge for me because I haven't, A, played this in, like, a week or two i don't actually know it's been a while a couple weeks two weeks i think and b even when i was playing i haven't been down to the mob grinder in a while so or the spawner i should say it's not a grinder right now so i don't i don't know exactly where it is but i th i have a good idea uh you know what i think we actually need we need some kelp with the for this newer version i remember that much so we're just gonna pop this really quick Grab all this kelp. We should only need like a stack, not even. I, I remember I watched a video on how to do it the first time and it was a pretty, pretty good grinder. Worked out pretty well. I had to make a couple adjustments. The big problem with that video was the zombies didn't quite funnel fluidly. Like they got a little bit jammed up. So I had to make a couple adjustments um, with some blocks when they initially enter the path to get sucked up and then fall. They were getting jammed up there and the baby zombies were, um, getting stuck there as well so i'm gonna try to find this grinder first try oh you know what i think i actually added ice to a block under one of the fence posts and i i, I we can't get ice right now we don't have a silk touch i guess we'll just have to live with that but let's find this cave it's somewhere around here right here i think is this the boy we don't have a ton of wood but i think we'll just build the walls out of stone I think it's right over here, right? Yeah, this is right. I I remember. First draw, baby. It's pretty convenient. All right, so first thing we got to do is hollow out this room. I think it's a nine by nine, as in there's four blocks to every direction of this. Oh, you know what we can do, actually? Hold on. Let me, let me see this. We're going to hop on the realm's world that is thankfully still up. And I'm just going to go check that out. This is basically how I'm going to set up my strip mine. I figured it'd be a lot easier just to actually look at what we're dealing with. Oh no, so it's officially a nine by nine. Um, and then this is the part that I wasn't sure of right here. Oh, it's a magma block. So two magma blocks under fence post. Okay, and then the rest is pretty self-explanatory. All right, so we just get started. That's what we do. We mine out this entire room. It's gonna be a little slow without good tools, but hey. 
That's all right. That's what we're here for. We're making this entire mob grinder this episode. Shouldn't take too long. Definitely will take most of the episode because it's not going to be a quick process. And it's not going to look good. Not that that one looks particularly good, but it's a lot nicer than what this one's going to look like. <laughs> this one's just probably going to be cobble, to be honest, on, this, on the walls. And then I'll come back at a later date when I have actual resources and make it look good. Uh, put some, maybe some wood or something in there. I don't know. Are you kidding me, man? There's an entire vein of gravel. <sighs> All right. Excuse me. Okay, so this should be, apart from the top, a 9 by 9 And what I'm actually going to do to try to cheese this gravel a little bit is I think I'm going to just... We're going to line this bottom with torches. So when we mine the top, we don't have to do all that gravel mining. I know, it's 300 IQ, but, yeah, hold your applause until it actually works. All right, hopefully this works. Don't call me a genius. No, you can call me a genius. Never mind. Ready for the speed ridge? Sick. I'm going to do that in the nether. All right, there we go. Then we just kind of do this. All right, there we go. Should be perfect, I believe. That's four, right? One, two, three. Yep, four. And we'll just add uh, We'll add some additional torches just because I think they'll continue spawning in here. Uh, can't add one there. We'll add one there, 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 there. It doesn't matter for right now. The zombies will be funneled this way, same as the other one. Right through there. Our room that we'll be sitting in will be over here. So we can actually dig out a little room over here if we want. We'll connect it to the path over here, I think. For now, yep. Dig this out, sure. It's a little claustrophobic in here right now. First things first, we need to make a little area for our water. There we go. Okay. So we put one, I think it's like that. And then, yeah, there and there. Hello? There you go, bud. Thanks for coming to play. Yeah, yeah, this is correct. Because then, I believe we do this, this, that, that. And then, one, two... Three, four. What is this? We can't be having this. Oh God! All right, a little. Didn't didn't see that cave. I don't remember that cave being down there, but hey, it's down there. So we gotta. I'm gonna totally burst up into the ocean. By the way, when I go up here. Okay, slight problem. I totally forgot that I need soul sand, which we do not have. So actually, maybe we do just hop in the Nether real quick. I'm kind of thinking, yeah. And I'm not going to go back and grab that obsidian. I think we're just going to look for a lava lake. I mean, I know that there is a lava lake, so we should be able to do that. I mean, can we just do down here? What are we looking like down here? Oh, yeah, this is where I, I remember that crafting table. Yeah, okay. Can we make one here? Is there enough lava? Maybe. Oh, there might be. I didn't think it went too deep here. Hey, hot stuff. Nice. Ghost bucket. Nice. Oh my god! How could a game so simple be so broken? I know this is an awkward portal because it's right below my farm, but honestly, it doesn't really matter. Nice. Do I have gravel on me? I do. Do I have flint on me? I don't. Come on. Be nice. Are you kidding me right now? This is a speedrunner's worst nightmare. There you go. Boom. All right, I'm kind of nervous. We do have a god apple, though, so hopefully... I don't think we're killable. At least right away. Nether, 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 nether. <laughs> what do we got? Gast? Hold on a second. Right there. Boom! Return to sender. I'm sick. All right. Um. Well, we're here. We're looking for soul sand, which, you know can't seem to spot any um oh my god i found some that we're we're here but i don't want to have this be the nether episode i think next episode will probably be the nether episode at least it looks pretty safe in here it's not a good spawn but we do have a couple options we could head out that way we could head up there we could head out over there that's the scariest one but it is overall looking pretty safe so i guess we'll uh 
carry on our way here. Yeah, it looks like it goes out over there, so. All right, well, that was actually very convenient that we just were able to quickly... So the soul sand actually goes here. So the soul sand goes right there. So I think technically I would actually dig these two down another one, put fences there, and put magma blocks under those fences. But we'll see how this works so far. I think I need one slab here. I need to make signs. So do we have any? I toss my sticks, so I guess we're doing it like that. Make some signs. I don't think we need a ton of them. I don't remember really. But I think we need signs right here and here. Yeah. Uh, and then this will be our shaft upwards, and then it goes this way, drops down into the room that we'll have over there. We'll be using the kelp here in a second, and I'll explain that. So, I think we just go up 24. That's that's the play. 18, 19, 20, 21. Yep, there's the ocean. I knew it. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. Okay, that was actually close. As you can imagine, we poked out in the ocean. So this is going to be a little bit more difficult. I knew it would happen. I knew we'd be so close, but I knew exactly that. I called it. You, you remember me calling it in previous episodes. So we're probably going to need to make a little mini ocean tunnel here. Uh, this is going to take a lot longer. I did not anticipate it. I mean, I did, but I kind of forgot <laughs> until I started digging this tunnel. So now I got to just go back down and make sure I counted this correctly. So it should actually be 26 from building up. 24 if you're not including these first two that you're standing in. We might be fine. It's going to be close because this is the water right here. I mean, oh yeah. No, it goes down. That's tragic. Oh my god, the kelp's making it difficult. Actually, that wasn't really misplaced, huh? I don't think so. Did we get the water? We did. Okay. So I think it's seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Perfect. And then we go down from there. I think 24. All right, so I think this is right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, and then we go down here. That's the next issue is we're gonna run into. So we need to go like this. Um, get that as well. And then I should be good to go straight down 24 from here. Um, I'm not gonna do that yet because I do actually want to do this part first. So I think what we do, I don't know how I'm gonna do this with in survival, just cause I need to put this water down and then dig down in it. Well, first we can test this. Does this work? It does. Okay, so that is the correct length. No, I know how to, this is super easy. What am I talking about? So we just go down in here. Yep, go like this. We do that real quick. Keep going down. Well, then we make sure we mine this one. Put a new one here. Yeah, that's, this is how we'll do it. Mine that one, put a new one there. Should be pretty close to the bottom here. There we are. So we should be good to go here. Yep, okay. And I think we kelp it. Yeah, we should be able to just kelp all the way up here. And basically what this is doing is it's creating a water source block. It hasn't done it yet, but check this out once we go down here. Once we destroy the kelp, like this, these are all source blocks and we fly up using the bubble elevator. Uh, now all we have to do, I think, because we have this little fly up here, look, come down here. I think all we have to do is actually just dig this one straight down. Um, what am I at here? I'm at 38. We need to go down 24, so that makes 14. Uh, let's just do it. Hopefully I don't fall in the water, or lava. Water would be all right. Um, actually, I'm kind of scared. So, 14 should be... Oh no. We have the iron, we have the wood, I guess we'll just have to suck it up. Iron pick. I've gone through two picks so far, so that's pretty nifty. Alright, there's the room. So if we just keep going back here, we should hit our other little room. Here we are. So this is the shaft, they fall down here. Uh, I think that we gotta hollow this out a little bit, just so we can actually make a viable place to sit and then there'll be chests, hoppers, all that good stuff down here. So my, my little side room's not quite where I needed it to be, but we'll uh we'll get to that. 
I mean, we should see that uh, cobblestone. Yeah, there it is. See? <laughs> see how fast that is? Check this out. Let's watch again. We just toss that cobble right in there. This will be way faster than a mob, but three, two, one, boop. All right, a little off on that, but yeah, items travel very, very quickly. The mobs will be bumping into each other, so that's really where you lose a lot of the time. Is If you can reduce how much bumping the mobs do, that's how fast your spawner will be, basically. So we need to make some hoppers. I don't remember how to do that. I think it's iron in a chest, right? It's pretty easy. Is it like... Like that? Yeah, okay. We'll need three hoppers to start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Three hoppers to start. And then we'll also need another bunch of chests. We'll probably need... Uh, I'll start with five chests. Should be good. I think I go like that, right? Does that connect? Yeah, that connected. Okay, perfect. And then we can actually go off to the side there. Get the f get out of here, man! Why are bats always ruining the vibe? I might not want to stand on a chest, though. That's the only thing. So I'd be standing here. So maybe I make this one a single. I stand here. Yeah, that that's probably for the best. And then we, I think we slab that. Do I slab here? Let's see if this makes sense. Is that correct? I think it might be. Let me just take a look at this shaft here. They fall in, they hit this. Yeah, I think that's correct. You don't want the baby zombies flying through. That's why you do the slabs. Because the baby zombies would kill you if you're just AFK standing here. Oh wait, hold on, is this... No, you, you do this. I definitely want to torch this place up. It, it'll look better, I promise. Not right now, and right now it's about functionality. Oh, I almost just ate that gaffle. That would have been so sad. Okay, well, I mean, the only option here is that we test this out, right? As far as I can tell, it's completely functional. Uh, minus there might be some collision problems happening right there, which I don't have any magma blocks right now. We don't actually even need to see this room at all. We can close it up completely because it should. this room should be functional. I'm just worried about how the XP will respond in terms of me sitting there. Um, okay little rat. I think we want a slab on top here so they don't spawn up there. Okay, so yeah, this is the only problem is it looks like we might need that ice block right here. We'll see. Hold on. L let me sit in this room. So basically the ice block would keep their momentum when they're sliding down that tunnel. Oh, I think they're still going to be getting stuck until I get that ice block in there. Okay, this is not bad. This is not bad. It's not perfect because I know there's they're going to be getting stuck constantly, especially with uh, baby zombies. I think that really messes it up. So if I could get a silk touch pretty quickly. This isn't terrible though, this really isn't. Sorry for the noise. Probably wanna use a sword down here, realistically, because of sweeping it, or the sweeping effect. Ah uh, yeah, that was my second fear, is the... Hmm, that one just died. I'm kind of concerned. I think XP has a really hard time going through a half slab, like half tall blocks, which is why I wasn't able to grab it the first time. Yeah, they're getting jammed right now. Yep, look at this. So we gotta we gotta reimagine this a little bit. So the half slab keeps them from dying. Um, so the mini the baby zombies will be able to get through this. That's the only concern here. So what I want to do is go. Here. Here? I don't know if a baby zombie can still... Hold on, well, let's... I'm never gonna... I don't think I'll ever, like, fully AFK. Yeah, I think the baby zombie will be able to hop up through that. Once it unclogs itself, it's great, but this, you lose a lot of time with the clog, which is why I'm, I think still touching that ice block would really help. I experienced this on my realms world as well. Like, right now, it's beautiful, right? Like, that's so good. From just, you know, 30 seconds of sitting here. Oh, a baby. I hear him. I hear him. Baby zombie's on its way. You can hear him in there. There might be two. He's suffocating? What is going on? Oh, the baby zombies might just die. That's totally fine. 
The only thing I actually don't like is that we're going to spend so much time sitting here that the in-game time like that we spend in this world is going to skyrocket. That's the only downside is we're it's just AFK time. Realistically, I only really want to sit here for at least a full set of diamond level 30s and a sword or an axe or something. Then we won't AFK this spot that much because I think I'll probably also make a blaze grinder, which is going to be way better anyways. I just didn't want to do that now because I would prefer to go into the nether with some good gear this is what we'll do so we'll make it we'll make an entry here we'll just flat out cover this up be like we don't need this do an entry here this is a rough rough calculation we can actually redo this wall at some point and make it nice uh i'll dig this out over here we'll keep farming while i make all this adjustments but yeah, so you saw the chicken jump out right there. I think if the baby zombies survive, they'll also be able to do that. Ideally, I would just have a uh, underground railroad, not the underground railroad, through a strip mine leading up to this place. Because it's really not that ridiculous. We're only, I don't know, if I had to guess, probably like 700 total blocks away from our base or something like that. Seven, 700 to 1,000, I'd say. Total. So we could definitely make a strip mine here. We'd, it would come up like right here or something, or come it would come up like right here. I do want to start a strip mine so I can actually start to get some resources without having to actively dive through these caves. And it's a little bit more risky diving through caves, so. Oh, if you guys are wondering, I didn't mention this in the last episode. We are on day, I didn't actually check, day 26, 27 technically. And honestly, a side goal of this series would be cool if we got an entire set of chain armor. Like that would be, uh, it, not very helpful, but cool. So right here is where the enchant room is going to be. So I'm going to quickly get a room made over here for our enchants. I didn't bring my bookcases, I forgot. So we'll have to run back for diamonds, bookcases. Uh, we can make an anvil here at least. I usually, when I'm at the grinder, I, I turn off my sounds completely. Have in the past, probably will again. I'm gonna smelt up some cobblestone so we can get some stone and then maybe even stone bricks, stone slabs. I'm gonna try to make this, can we actually do, oh, you can do mossy slabs, okay. I was thinking off to the sides, I would have stuff like a, maybe a chest back here or something and a grindstone somewhere. Anvil maybe right here. Uh, we'll put that there for now. I think I'm gonna go get the other stuff. I just wanna get my bookcases down and I think we'll call it an episode because this is probably another long one, but hey, that's all right. Ooh, I could get magma blocks real quick. We'll get that later. We'll get that later. But yeah, in terms of the next episodes, I think we get the mob grinder to finish this one. We grind out level 30 enchants for four pieces of our armor and maybe a sword. I mean, I know that axe is still more powerful and you could like anvil stuff onto it, like sharpness books and stuff, but that would just take a lot of extra AFK. Yeah, I just get another set, I think. Another set of armor, preferably prop four pieces to go into the nether. We we explore it. I mean, hopefully we we find both a fortress and a bastion, potentially. At least, I don't know if I want to go into the bastion yet, but get some glowstone, Get definitely a fortress to get some blaze rods. We can start brewing stuff. Maybe making a blaze grinder and just completely replacing the zombie one because the blaze one would be way better depending on how close it is, I guess. Yeah, and from there, just getting super geared, getting tools, expanding our strip mine, uh, and then eventually heading into that bastion that we'd hopefully find and trading, getting some ender pearls, and then it's dragon fight time, I think. I think I want to try to do the dragon as quick as possible without just running in there and, you know, 50-50ing it and hoping, hoping for the best. 28 bookshelves. And we'll keep the remaining eight books for book enchants. Yeah, this will be great. I, I made a little bit too many, I think, but that's fine. Oh, do we have vines? Vines would be a cool addition to this room, but I don't think I've seen any biomes with vines. I saw dark oak. Yeah, we have. I don't think we've seen a swamp or, de or jungle. Let's just uh, start experimenting. I know I don't have a silk touch to get these back, but we have so many. Ooh, I kind of like this. Yeah, we can work with this. That is level 30, so we at least did that right. Here we go. Oh, it's magical. All right, here we go. Please, please, please. Oh, that's that's good. I think I'm going to go for that. Oh, my God. Oh, you just love to see that first try. 
Oh, you just love to see it. I would like to get a second pick, just so I can maximize the durability on this one. Alright, that's something. Oh yeah, love that. Okay, honestly, I've been working on this for a while, and I don't know about that right there. Maybe like that. Hold on, let me kill these. <gasps> Chain! Nice. Got for oh, two pieces of chain. Okay. Off to a great start. And I, I think this is a decent start. I think this looks like a pretty... I, I don't know about the floor yet. I'm still conflicted on the floor. But it's pretty solid. I, I would love to put some vines in here. Like, I'd drape some here. Um, maybe, like, in this corner as well. But basically, that's kind of what I'm thinking. This wall doesn't look quite... It's too, a little too flat, so maybe we'll add in, like, one of those right there. And then... Maybe, like, that. This back wall... I could probably add in, like, a... One of those? Or maybe... Maybe down here. And then go like that. Could even add one right here. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, that's that's better. Uh, put that there. Do one of those there. Okay, yeah, that looks good. I just wa really wanted to like pretty much fully complete this room, so it looks presentable. So what I think I will do is probably continue this this um, kind of cracked look all the way up this side wall here. Eventually, I don't want to. I don't need to do it now, but basically, I'd replace this wall with like stone. And then I'd add in another section where where this is. I'd add in a wall there and do the same thing to match this side. Okay, well, we're level 30 again, so... I need to really start my strip mine to get more diamonds, because we do not have a lot. I could disenchant this real quick and go for a 30. Should I do that? Yeah, let's go for it, man. Give me that little XP there. Prot 3. That is not what we want. Alright, worst case scenario. Let me, let me just see what these would give. Brought three again, bro. Fire prod. That's actually not terrible. Maybe we go with that. All right. Well, that's an upgrade. I think I'm gonna go for m mainly prot. Probably P4, P4. Keep the legs for now. Uh, Death Strider would be awesome. Feather Falling would be incredible. Now that we have this fortune pick, I think it'd be a really good idea to maybe enchant another pick, and then be able to switch between a fortune pick and an unbreaking efficiency pick when we're just doing the main mining. I accomplished exactly for once what I said I was going to. I, I'm just going to run over here so you guys can't hear that. Uh, so this is really easy coordinates to remember. 900, negative 1700. So that'll be really, really easy to get to. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this episode. I can't escape the zombie sounds. My only goal next episode is to get at least a level 30 enchanted set of diamond armor here. That is the minimum goal. I'm hoping to get maybe some tools, get a mine started. Um, but yeah, the minimum goal is to get our tier 30 set. At least complete. doesn't have to be good in chance necessarily, but I would at least like a couple prop fours. Thanks for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.